He was a could do anything. And one of his favorite jobs he had was landscaping. This is a story that begins with an ending. He went to work one day and that's when it happened. Kim Rath, at work one day in 2003, suffered a massive stroke. He was only 43. And no, no signs before. Shortly before he died, doctors gave his wife Judy a difficult decision to make. He asked me what, if it was okay with me and which organs I wanted to let them donate. Yeah, um, we kind of all sat down as a family to decide. Um, it, some, some people wanted him to, some didn't. It was just a really tough decision, but ultimately, um, I guess we wanted to respect his wishes. Twelve years after losing the husband and father of six, the family is gathering here at Sotoma Park for a very special kind of family reunion. It's an honor, it's a privilege, it's a blessing. Um, I've waited 12 years to say thank you to them. Newly married Rosemary and husband Scott live in a suburb of Chicago. They actually postponed their honeymoon to drive out and meet the family for the first time of the man who gave them a future. In 2003, Rosemary was dying from an accidental overdose of Tylenol when Kim's liver and one of his kidneys saved her. I got great organs, as we say in Illinois, spare parts. She says she's grateful every day for everything that she's lived to see. Experiencing life, experiencing all the births, the marriages, um, and all the challenges, getting married, owning a house. It's kind of a little bit of closure for me, you know, to know that I mean, I lost my dad, and that's a huge loss, but to know that he saved her life and to see her living and enjoying life, it's, I don't know, it helps. It was hard for me at first, but yes, I would, after reading Rosemary, I would recommend everybody to be a donor. Continuing a story that could have ended a long time ago. In Sioux Falls, Tanner Chambers, Kelland News.